Now my exclusive one-on-one -on -one interview with the President of Israel, Isaac Herzog. We spoke shortly after he met with President Biden here in Washington with the Russian invasion of Ukraine on their agenda. Am I right in hearing you say your strategic limitations will prevent Israel from providing these air defense systems that the Ukrainians are begging not you for? It depends which air defense systems. Well, it's which a, ones are you prepared to no, provide? I'm not going to negotiate with you. Let's first put things in perspective. There are weapons that the American administration is not supplying to Ukraine. There are weapons that Europe is not supplying to Ukraine. On the other hand, there's a lot of issues and things that can be supplied to Ukraine. We identify with the suffering of the Ukrainian people. We want this havoc to end. We want to find solutions to end this conflict. And definitely we support the territorial integrity of Ukraine. So as far as we can go in many non-lethal uh, products, we can do. As far as dealing with Ukraine, Iranian drones, we're definitely analyzing the situation. President Volodymyr Zelensky recently said this. He asked Israel to choose a side, and he asked if Israel is, quote, with the democratic world or with those who turn a blind eye to Russian terror. It's an unfair judgment. We have respect for President Zelensky. I myself have met President Zelensky, uh, Zelensky a year ago. Uh, we have a dialogue with President Zelensky, and we understand the enormous plight and pain of the Ukrainian people. We are treating uh, hospitalized Ukrainians in Israeli hospitals. We have absorbed many refugees in our country, including personally, me and my wife, we've we have absorbed and, and, and are assisting a family of refugees in Israel. So we are definitely there, and I think rhetoric of that nature does not help. As you know, there's also been some serious criticism of Israel coming from both Democrats and Republicans, members of Congress, who would like Israel to be more assertive in helping Ukraine right now. It's very easy to come to Israel with questions and comments on this issue. After all, uh, there are many, many uh, solutions and products that can be supplied to Ukraine. There are things that we can't even do it technically. For example, there are um, uh, weapons that we don't even have an export version for. There are things that we don't want them to fall in the hands of our enemies. There are secrets that we can't deliver. But wherever we can help, we're trying to help. And we said it outright. I know it came up uh, during your meeting with President Biden at the White House on an increase of anti-Semitism here in the United States. And we saw that just uh, you know, in recent days with Kanye West, and now known as Ye. How did that discussion with the president go? Well, and and the, I know you're very much concerned about what's going on in this country. We are all concerned by anti-Semitism all over the world, and of course, anti-Semitism here and everywhere. And the president was uh, clear, crystal clear, was uh, to the, uh, on target in, in fighting anti-Semitism with all tools possible. It's anti-Semitism, it's racism, it's racism, xenophobia. These are the challenges of the era, but unfortunately, history teaches us that usually it starts with hating Jews, with blaming Jews, with terrible rhetoric that people say, you know, okay, he said it. And that's why I'm extremely pleased, objectively, as an Israeli, as a Jew, as a human being, I'm extremely pleased to see this overwhelming reaction against the comments by Kanye West.